The line of showers and storms continues to make its way towards the east. That first round earlier this evening fizzled out. The second one still going. Severe thunderstorm warnings are in effect for northeast Oklahoma. Let me show you what's happening here and uh, what's going to happen as we head into the next uh, hour or so. So this is the line of showers and storms. It is booking it, guys, like 50 miles an hour to the east. That's quick. It's a quick line that's moving through. Right now on the leading edge, I do think we're going to see some wind damage on this. There's not much right now. In fact, if you were to step outside out over um, uh, Bentonville and Rogers, this is the live look uh, with the camera from uh looking south towards uptown from uh bentonville and you can see a little bit of cloud cover that's out there o overall though not much in the way of lightning yet it's mostly because we're moving to the south but as we head into the uh, next hour or so as these storms move through we're going to have quite a bit more lightning and we'll have that possibility of seeing some thunderstorms move through most of northwest arkansas so this is what it looks like now let's get in on the wind and let's take a look at this i want to show you a couple different things that i thought were interesting here so uh first of all you've got the you've got the heavier areas of rain notice the hail is way down so the hail threat never materialized like we thought it would the wind risk and the storms are here. So let's look at the wind. Goodness gracious, look at this around Colkert, Colkert and Jay, um, just west of Decatur and uh, Bella Vista. This is a strong line of wind that's moving through. And these little notches here are what concern me. Oftentimes you get those little spin-up tornadoes on those notches, little QLCS tornadoes is what we call them. Um, those tornadoes tend to spin up on the leading edge, and we've got a couple of those embedded within this line. Now, I do expect the Weather Service to go ahead and issue uh, a new severe thunderstorm warning soon for Benton County, perhaps even parts of Washington County. This part of the line is severe because it's along and ahead of the front. Behind the front, though, well, it's, it's mostly rainfall, a few thunderstorms, a little bit of hail, not as big of a deal. So the whole situation tonight, not really playing out kind of as expected, but playing out nonetheless because we have all this energy in the atmosphere and it's moving through all this humid air. It's got to do something, right? Look at that frame as it just increased. Uh, or These scans are coming in every 30 seconds. And... Um, and you can see just how fast these this thing's moving in. Um, the forward motion alone, I think, is enough to cause some wind damage. So that's something to keep an eye on here as it starts to move on in. Going back over to the wind, let's see what we got. These little leading edge notches are what I'm keeping an eye on the most. Let me see if I can calibrate this real quick and get another look at it. There we go. Um, yeah, this is the area to watch. Now, farther south, we do have storms. We'll probably get some storms in Fort Smith that are coming up from the south, southwest. Here's the thing, though. There's not much wind with that stuff. The wind is really banging across northeast Oklahoma and uh, Benton County especially is where it's about to move into. So we're going to get those showers and thunderstorms here in Benton County as it tracks in from west to east. Let's see what it looks like uh, as far as a big picture view goes. This is going to be um, the the line of showers and storms as it moves on in. You can kind of see too how it's tracking here with the uh, southwest to northeast movement. I think this line moves so quick that it's going to be out of here probably shoot where are we at now 11:53 it's going to be out of here by 12:30 or 1 i mean it's moving quick let's see if we can uh, query some of these yeah there's 12:04 moving up towards bella vista at 12:24 it's up in missouri at about 12:30 yeah 12:34 so about 12:30 or so this heavy part of the line that's moving through benton county will move through uh, that's this cell that's right here the one farther to the south though uh near fayetteville this is tracking more towards the east i'll put this in motion and loop this for you you can see how this is moving on in we also have an area of low pressure here to the west southwest right there that little guy there could be enhancing some of the lift in the atmosphere along and ahead of the low that tends to elongate some of the um some of the spinning in the atmosphere when you stretch it out like that the updrafts can tap into it and sometimes you get those little spin-up tornadoes that occur on the leading edge of these things another look at the time uh, 1234 there that's the showing the uh, time progression here as we move through the next couple of hours uh, or the next hour or so. It's such a fast moving system right now. Um, let's go ahead and go back over to uh, the other radar source here and look at this one and uh, and look at what we've got is in terms of the uh, spin up. Look at these little uh, TVSs are popping up on here, these little triangles. So uh, when the radar sees, uh, oh, there we go, we just got one. New severe thunderstorm warning. Now this is for Benton County. It looks like northern Washington County as well. Severe thunderstorm warning for Benton and Washington County. That's the line of storms that's moving through. This is it. It's a fast-moving line. Um, and the great thing about it is, even though hail was the most... Uh, 
most talked about threat coming into this thing, it's going to be wind. The, this is hail. There's not much out there. It's the wind on the leading edge. That's the real big issue with this as it moves on in. Um, I want to isolate this a little bit more for you and take a look uh, right here. Yeah, these leading edge lines, it's going to be interesting to see when these things move through what they do. I'm going to read the Weather Service Bulletin real quick. They've got it moving east at 40 miles per hour. They're calling for winds at 60 miles per hour or so um, with hail at three quarters of an inch so less than quarter size probably approaching dime size or so but i think the wind is going to be the big issue with the line of storms that's about to move into the area um looking over at some of the rdot cams again i, I don't even see any um any lightning just yet i'm going to change this up and start looking at some out towards the west i think if we pull up maybe eh, maybe the Salem springs camera shows it it may or may not so here's what's going on this is the true cold front now we expected a few storms to develop ahead of the front that didn't happen these storms are developing along the front, and they're going to be uh, moving through with the front. So storms along and ahead of the front have that risk of severe weather. Behind the front, not so much. It may be some hail, um, some heavy rainfall, things like that. So that's where we are right now. Going back to the radar, because that's what's most important at the moment, you can see the line of showers and storms here moving uh, from west to east very quickly. Uh, the Weather Service has got it at about 40. You can see the forward motion of this thing. This is looking at... Uh, what are we about an hour, not even just right at an hour's worth of data. I mean, this is hauling. It's checking in, it's checking out fast. So it's not going to be one of those storms that lasts all night long, but it is going to be a pretty loud storm when it cruises through your neighborhood here, uh, here real soon. So there's Salem Springs. Let's see if we can pull up the Salem Springs camera. I'm just wondering how, how windy it is I'm out towards the West here. Let's see. Going back to that. Well, we can't see the sky, so that's a bummer. But you can see there's a lot of wind. And some car lights that are out there as well. Or maybe those are just street lights. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, you can see that the uh, the wind is starting to pick up in Salem Springs. Uh, oh, some lightning. There we go. Yeah, the lightning's starting to move in as well. And uh, the lightning strikes are going to pick up in intensity uh, all across northwest Arkansas and Benton County and northern Washington County. Um, the line of storms to the west, I think they issued a drug it or Pulled the, the polygon a little farther south here due to this stuff that's out here just to the west. That That's going to be the the um, second push that moves through. Now, the intensity, the purple colors here have really fallen off. Uh, hopefully, that means this is running out of some gas here for us. Uh, but not right now. I mean, it's, it's still going pretty strong as it moves on in from um, west to east. So, severe thunderstorm warning in effect here for uh, northwest Arkansas. I'm going to take a look at the Bella Vista camera. Let's see if this one shows us anything different here. This is looking towards the west from Bella Vista. Um, actually, it's the Bella Vista bypass. Bella Vista would be to the right of the screen, Bentonville to the left. Ooh, there's a lightning strike, huh? And then straight ahead would be looking out towards Gravit and Decatur or the southwest part of Bella Vista, probably, um, well, more towards the west part, probably in the highlands. Um, the camera at the bottom says look north from RDOT. So I suspect this is looking more towards the north as this line moves on through. So um, you can see the little lightning starting to pick up here and the thunderstorms too with the, the line moving in. I'm really concerned about leading edge spin up tornadoes. I think that would be the probable uh, most common threat here right now. Um, the back edge of this thing is kind of kind of dragging. Um, there's some, st there's still a severe storm down there though, just Southwest of Fort Smith. So the risk in Fort Smith is going to be there too. Let's see what we got here now. Just got the, uh, severe thunderstorm warning again for Benton County. Let's see what the update on that one is. Looks like the heaviest part of the line is just now crossing the, uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma state line. Um, between Delaware and Benton County, moving into Bentonville. We've got it in Decatur right now. I'm going to zoom in a little tighter. By the way, the reason we have the, it looks pixelated like this, so we can turn smoothing on on these radars, and it makes it look visually better. Yeah, sure, right? But look at the purple colors. If you watch the purple here and you turn it off, now you got a little bit more, right? Because it smooths it all together. And you, this way, we can actually zoom in on the pixel. So when we smooth it, we don't lose it. You've got you've got a strong cell here, but when you turn smoothing on, you don't see the strong cell as much. So, um, pixelated radar is actually better for analysis. It's it's not visually as appetizing, I suppose, as as it would be if it was just a um, nice smooth radar. But um, 
still gives us a better idea of what's happening. Another thing uh, that concerns me about the leading edge coming into Benton County here is the way it's leaning. You've got it leaning towards uh, more north-south oriented. And when it's like that, it, it does have the tendency to pick up a little bit more um, – deviant motion in the storm so if it may moves a little more towards the east maybe southeast it can sweep in some of that helicity in the low levels that's out there from the low level jet which is underway right now so i think some some strange storm motion with some of this stuff could actually intensify that risk of getting a um getting not only the wind damage but also a quick spin up tornado on this stuff looking back at it that line of wind here it comes guys it's lined up right on the arkansas oklahoma State line. I got my water going on. Probably shouldn't have brushed my teeth before I came in here. You know, you have that cotton mouth afterwards. Goodness. At least it tastes minty fresh, though. All right, so the line's moving in. I'm going to see if we can find some other cameras here that show some. Um, while we're doing that, let's loop this so you guys can see how this wind is trending. Let's take a look at the Bellevue camera. This is going to be. Um, that's a lot of wind, isn't it? May have come down a little bit. Let's see here. See the bright green? This is what had me worried earlier. Right there, that little guy. That was a pretty persistent mesocyclone that was there. The dark green colors turn to a little light. That's pretty... Still pretty windy right here. Still going pretty good. That's uh that's just south of Southwest City, west of Gravit and west of Sulphur Springs. Boy, this thing's booking it, guys. It's right there. The line of wind now moving uh closer to Gravit. This is gonna be right on 59, just to the west of Highway 59. Looking out the window, this is from Bellevue towards Uptown Rogers. You can see the uh lightning occasionally out in the distance. The uh, angle we're looking is north, so um, we're looking in the general vicinity, but the, because that storm is lined up uh, almost north-south, we're not really getting a good shot of it, at least as of right now. Back over to the radar, let me put this into motion again for you. Let's loop this out. Here we go. So that line of storms is tracking towards the east. I'm also going to zoom out for a bit and just look down to the south and see what else we got going on. Uh, this thing's pretty been pretty well been untouched most of the uh, most of the afternoon. We have we had some storms that tried to, that struggled down here earlier in the day. Now with the front, they're not going to struggle. The front front's going to easily pop the cork on this thing and uh, push these storms through a little easier. Um, let's see, there's a wind report here. What is that? Thunderstorm wind damage out towards Okmulgee. I'm seeing, I don't see any other wind damage reports in Northeast Oklahoma so far. So that's, that's good. At least um, another look at this as it tracks in, this is West to East with the line of showers and storms that's moving in. And uh, that line's expected to clear the entire area probably by one or so. So it's going to move through fairly quick. It's not going to be something that drags on and on and on all night long with the line of storms. I'm um, going to go back over to a bigger picture view here. And uh, take a look at some of these storm tracks. Let me stop this here. So we've got the movement east at about 40. That's going to put it right around Rogers at 1231. So you've got about 30 minutes or so. And this is going to be um, ripping through Rogers pretty quick here. Um, for farther south, the same timeline here is going to be closer to Springdale. Um, you can expect these storms to track towards the east, putting them somewhere between 1230 around the the uh, I-49 corridor. And then down to the south, these are interesting, aren't they? This thing's flying north. Uh, they've got this at 1241, 1231. These are 10 minute increments. Look how fast that's moving. Um, storm system's moving really fast. I mean, look at that thing real quick. You got it moving. Look at this, northeast at 60 miles per hour. My goodness, that's moving. Um, that's the storm that's out there around McAllister. So if you got in a car and you, you had a road that was straight, which they're not, and there's plenty of potholes if you've driven down to Dallas anytime in the last two decades, three decades. Um, if you had a straight shot that's and you were going 60 miles an hour, the storm's basically doing. Back over to analyst here. All right. Oh, man, this thing's going fast, isn't it? Let me see if I can stop the radar and take another look at this thing. 
Uh, so we've got it in Decatur now. We've already got that wind moving in. There's some stronger cells here. We're lined up from Gravit to Decatur down to the south. Now, what's what this is, so the, the Weather Service is able to put the radar in uh, what's called sales mode. That's mode. That's the supplemental uh, low-level scans. So we're getting more frequent low-level scans. We don't get as frequent scans in the low levels um, of the velocity necessarily. Um, of a base velocity all the way up into the, the tilt. Basically what I'm saying here is if I tilt the radar up, these scans aren't updating as frequently as we tilt the radar up. Below level scans though are updating frequently about every 30 seconds or so. So we can get some real time looks at what's going on. Uh, I'm seeing this wind and gravid decatur really ripping in here. I think we might have um, some winds approaching 60 miles an hour in this general area. That's going to be right around uh, Decatur Highway 59, also running around 102 west. Um, coming out of Centerton. Let's see here. Here's Centerton. There's Decatur. Um, you can see the storm is, I'm put a marker here. Storm system is going to be running. It's like eight miles west of Centerton. If it's moving east at 50, it's going to be in your doorstep in about uh, five minutes or so. I mean, it's, it's coming in. It's coming in fast. Uh, Solemn Springs, we're starting to get the rainfall, but I think Decatur is really catching the brunt of this thing as far as the wind that's getting pushed out of it. Um, Go. Let me check for hail again real quick. We've got a little bit of small hail, uh, three-tenths of an inch. That's like pea size. Eh. You know, when you're expecting a lot bigger hail and you get something like that, it's just it doesn't seem like it's that significant. Um, that's interesting. Little TVS down there. Let's see what this th little guy is. Yeah, got a little bit of um, something, something in this area. Put this in motion, see how this is looping. Eh. You know, these little skits... Um, so sometimes we refer to them as skits or little algorithm trips here. Um, they can be tripped easily, and uh, it's just a computer. It's, it's a computer model, right? So it's not like it's um, it's not set in stone. And um, it's the best thing about analysis is taking a look at it and saying, okay, is this legit or is this bogus? Hmm. So this is how it is now. And again, that movement, I'm going to zoom out just because it's moving so quickly here. Let's see that. Those are going to track towards the. Uh, East, northeast. Do you have any damage reports on, on the on the friendly Facebook? Maybe I should just refer to it as the friendly Facebook from now on because it's so friendly. There's just so many friendly people. Most of you guys are really friendly. Some of y'all not so much. Um, so we've got the storms that are moving through. We have that line that's tracking in from west to east. That's going to move through the whole area fairly quickly. Right now, the only areas under warnings are going to be uh, are parts of, of Benton County and northern Washington County. That's what that line that's moving through. It's a fast-moving line. You're probably going to start here in the thunder. Um, let's see here. One-man banding, it's a little bit tougher than it looks, huh? Tougher than I thought. <laughs> All right, so I just went on the friendly Facebook. I'm going to look at some of your comments that are on there. It's got uh, Tiffany saying she's here in Thunder out towards the northern Rogers already. Courtney was asking about the hail update, uh, big or small. This is going to be small hail with this. This is not going to be the big hail that we expected earlier in the day. Those storms really didn't. Uh... <laughs> Alex says, who isn't friendly? I'll get them. And there's a lot of people on Facebook that aren't friendly. I don't really understand it. Um. What is the warning? The warning is a severe thunderstorm warning, so it's not a tornado warning. Uh, the Weather Service, ex what's funny is they extended the watch after the warning came out. Um, so, yeah, you're looking at at least the possibility of getting that um, that storm moving through. This is just coming in fast. And I think just the forward motion alone is something to be concerned with. When you have something moving in that fast, you can easily get your trampoline airborne. Uh, and hopefully that's not the case. You know what I did? And, and maybe this is redneck. And I'm sure it violates every rule in the HOA, even though I'm on the board. Um, I took a bunch of concrete. I put it in one of those Home Depot buckets. And then I put a little uh, metal hook at the top. And I got some chain. And I chained that sucker down. I've lost two to wind storms. Two. I mean, over the course of like 10 years. But still, this one's not going anywhere. If it goes somewhere, we got bigger problems. You aren't going to be watching me at all. Um, Austin saying massive storm and gravit. So it is coming in and grab it right now. Um, uh, thunder coming into P Ridge, according to Kylie there, uh, Lacey saying Paris Mount magazine area going to be good. Well, I think it probably does go a little bit more to the Northwest. This is trending more Northeast, but you may still get some storms as they go farther East though. You're going to be looking at less and less in the way of, um, 
of intensity. So the, the intensity should come down. Um, I tried those anchors on Amazon. I saw you, um, Ashley, and really they didn't, um, it didn't work. It pulled them out of the ground. I don't know if the ground was too wet or what. Um, anyway, so um, we've got some small hill here, west side of Gravit. You guys in Gravit are probably getting pounded right now with these uh, showers and storms that are moving in. Um, and it's really pushing, too. I'm still seeing these winds. I'm looking at it here at the bottom. These are in knots. Um, I'd say we have winds probably close to about 50 or so. Uh, especially on the west northwest side of Bella Vista. That's up there around the highlands. This is mostly a northern Benton County type thing. So here's Highful. Um, the wind picks up just to the north of Highful, north of Highway 12. So we're really talking about Bentonville, Decatur, Centerton, Hawassi, Bella Vista, Pea Ridge. That's the area where this wind is going to be um, the strongest. And that makes sense, right? Because that's where you've got this little bow that's right here. So that bow is that push, that punch that's coming out of the storm um, that's moving through. Farther to the south, uh, some of you guys are asking about uh, farther south here. We do have uh, these storms aren't severe around Muskogee. It's the stuff that's down here around McAllister that's moving northeast. Now these are severe. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they hold together. If they hold together, we'll have some storms in Fort Smith later on this evening too, or early this morning, I guess I should say. Back over to um, the storm uh, that we're watching right now. Um, Tanner saying Solemn Springs is fairly quiet out there. Let me see, pull up y'all's camera, your iDrive camera that's out there, and see what it looks like. I see the wind. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like the the heavy rain has moved into Solemn Springs just yet. Again, that's tracking in from west to east. My kids and my dogs are about to go nuts, y'all. That's one thing you don't have to worry about when you're in TV. You have a nice little studio. But when you're in your guest bedroom, you've already laid down with your daughter and your son's been in your room like three or four times while you're looking at storms. Yeah, you guys are probably dealing with the same stuff right now. Um, this is enough to wake the kids up. It is fast enough, though. So if they're deep sleepers, um, they may be OK. They may not wake up. I don't know. You guys in Gravit are having a heck of a storm right now. This thing's lined up right on 59 just to the west of Hawassi here. Um, just south of Sulphur Springs. I'm showing the highest, the strongest part here. And remember, it's moving so fast that Hawassi and Bella Vista are really going to get slammed by this stuff and the wind too. Got a little TVS skit that popped up here. Let's look at that thing and see if we've got anything on it. Oh, sure enough. Look at those gusty winds right here. My goodness. This is probably closing in on about 50 to 60 miles an hour. These little pixels right here, just to the south of Gravit. So that's east of 59 and uh, just to the north of 102. Uh, I'll turn the radar off and I'll zoom in on the pixel and kind of show you what's underneath here so uh, we're looking south and east of gravit is where right there where the road turns back to the west that's where some of the strongest wind is currently located and that is moving towards the east so um, that's coming up towards 102 and bentonville here shortly this is going to move right over bentonville it looks uh, it looks like anyway let me look at this zoom out again yeah, it's going to come right down 102. So you guys in 102, um, these storms will be ripping in really quick, but they move out just as fast too. I mean, this is not an all night type thing. Um, this is the true cold front that's moving through and behind the front temperatures are already falling. I was looking, um, another monitor I've got here. It's 50 degrees Northwest of Tulsa right now. And it's 72 in Fayetteville. So you've got about a 20 degree drop here coming. Um, and that's why you've got the storms. You've got the warm and the cold clashing, which is causing these showers and the storms that, to move on through. I'm going to um, go back and look at another camera and then I'll read some of your comments here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the strongest part of the storm just for you guys that are here and grab it and Bella Vista and Decatur and Gentry and are wondering what the heck's going on here. Um, I don't see any tornadoes right now. I do see uh, some very strong winds though southeast of gravit and southwest of hawassi so that's one thing to keep a very close eye on uh let's see i'm trying to find a north facing camera here mm. it's it's nice that rdot is, has added all these and rdot's great too to check this out in the morning before you leave for work and we know you don't get caught in any traffic uh new update here sulfur springs you can see the bow leading edge of that bow up towards hawassi that's going to be coming into Bentonville here shortly. A uh, little bit of a, uh, I don't see the rotation. I think these are just getting tripped. Um, it's mostly damaging wind here. There's a line of damaging wind. It just moved through Gravit. It's coming into Bella Vista and Bentonville. Um, you have some pockets of stronger wind. There's a little core pixel right there. Let me back up. Yeah, that, that's legit. So that's west of Gentry. 
but really the strongest winds are right in here. Now let's isolate the hail just to show you because we, we did talk a lot about hail leading up to this event, which turned out to be a bust as far as the hail goes. We do have some hail with this storm. It's over, over grab it moving east. It's about half inch. So I'm seeing about maybe dime size or so. If you guys get any damage or hail pictures, you can post those on the Facebook too, and I'll show you uh, what's going on. Um, I'm back over on your comments right now to take a look at um, – what's happening here. Uh, Lacey says, sounds like hail and Decatur. I think you probably are getting some of that hail. Um, and safe to go to bed in Greenwood. Not quite. You guys might have another hour or so before that stuff moves through Greenwood. Same with Van Buren. I do think that the hail risk is lower farther south across the river valley. So it's not going to be quite as high as in northwest Arkansas. But they're moving quick, though. They're moving really fast, like 50, 60 miles an hour. Uh, to give you an idea, most storms, I would say, probably move about 30 or 40. 35. If I had to spitball a storm and I had to calibrate a radar, I would put it in at 35 miles an hour. It's pretty much the generic storm speed, uh, or maybe most common, I guess. It's not true with everything, but um, this is definitely an exception. These are not moving slow. These are moving quick. They're fast moving storms. And because of that, it is difficult to get a tornado to form, if you think about it, because when you have all that motion going in one direction, the the uh, just the mechanical wind field will overpower the uh, the thermal dynamics, thermal dynamics of the whole thing. So you're you're you can't sustain a tornado when you've got these winds. It just knocks the legs right out from underneath it. So um when you have winds that are this strong. So after this line in Centerton, Marissa's asking, are we good? You are. After this, we are A-okay. Now, we're okay from severe weather. Let me tell you something, though. I think tomorrow, though, we're going to be looking at um, possibly um, maybe a quick shower or two, perhaps even in the afternoon. That's with the upper low that's swinging through. I don't think it's going to be severe. It doesn't look like it. Um, but there may be another spotty shower or two tomorrow. But as far as this goes, it's, it's all better um, after this moves through. Uh, Vicky was asking about mountains in northwest Arkansas and tornadoes touching down. Uh, the, tornadoes actually don't really um, care about the terrain so much. They're being driven and steered by the upper level wind features in the jet stream. So what we're dealing with here is um, when you have these tornadoes that form, um, it's not so much the terrain at the ground as it is the uh, upper level winds. And oftentimes when a tornado is in the mountain range, like we found out in Mountainburg a couple of years ago, uh, you can actually have the tornado intensify as it goes up the mountain. Or you guys in Fort Smith watching that are old timers like me and remember the 96 tornado, it actually intensified when it went up on, on, um, up on the ridge there. So uh, on Vista Hills. So it, it, and they can actually strengthen the tornadoes. It doesn't really protect you that much. Uh, it's kind of a, a more of a weather myth. Okay, friends in Centerton, get ready. You're about to get hit by this stuff. Um, you've got some hail coming in. It's small. Uh, it's not as big as, let me see, go back to hill size. It's not populating right now, is it? Radar's up, though, so we'll just keep an eye on this one. Um, change radar sources real quick here. Just look. Let's go back over to this guy real quick and see what this looks like. Zoom on in here. I mean, this is really booking it. Right across Bella Vista and Centerton. Let's get a closer look at it here. So you've got it around 102. There's the bend in 102 right here. Heavy showers and storms. The new radar scan shows it up 279 and 72, right up towards 49. So there's the uh, there's the exit on 72 where you can get off and head over towards uh, Bentonville West, and um, this near Hawassi. And you can see that cell's really really strong there. Just west of Bentonville. Let's loop this out. This is actually, I'm going to do a shorter loop. I'm going to do seven frames here just because I think it's going to be, it's moving so quick. This will help us see it a little better. See the track. Why don't we, uh, why don't we take some of these lines off of here too? I'm going to get a little messy for a second, guys. There we go. All right, so there we are. So this is the, uh, I'm focusing in on the strongest part here, and I think it's right there north of Centerton right there yep so we're looking at some right in there is where i think we're most concerned with um some hail should we get any hail that's the northwest side of Center centerton just north of 102 but the thunder is going to start to pick up you guys are probably starting to hear it already i'm going to go back over to analyst and look at this here we go that's really, this is the strongest storm, guys. So in rogers it's it's not that strong we need to go back to the cameras too because i bet we can see some shots now um, so you've got it here in Rogers and Lowell, some rain moving in. It's, I mean, yeah, you're going to hear thunder. You're going to get lightning. You're probably going to get the wind too. I mean, we're under the warning after all. 
but it's really here. It's Bentonville, Hawassi, and Bella Vista that are really um, really in the area to watch. It looks like the Weather Service just trimmed back the warning. You saw, I don't know if you saw an update, but they trimmed it back. So they actually cut the warning out here. So they're going to continue the severe thunderstorm warning. Let's see what they've got on this guy here. Um, they're going to let it roll. They canceled it for Delaware and Adair County. They're going to continue the one here in um, Benton County until 1 a.m. So they're going to let this thing run out across the county. I bet they trim it out just a little more. Um, got the Charlotte saying the thunder and lightning starting to pick up out around Bentonville. Just zoom in towards Bentonville and Centerton, where the strongest part is. And Bella Vista, I mean, I mean, goodness, this is this is some big stuff here over Bella Vista. Um, go back to the other radar here. I like this because we can see the streets a little bit easier on it. Oops, did I pull it up? Yeah, there we go. So we've got um, we've got this whole line that's moving through, and there we go. So here's the bypass, right? So. This is the Bella Vista bypass. Here's where you get on it. In fact, let me go back to the cameras here. Matter of fact, that, that's what we're looking at. So this is looking west. You can see the lightning out there in the distance. So if you go to the right, you go north, you go up towards Missouri, you keep going straight, you head towards um you head towards the storm out towards Hawassi. So that's where we are with the thunderstorm. We're looking, we were looking right here, looking this direction towards the west so um backing out a little bit more here that strong storm is moving east let's see here just looking at the uh, intensity of it here the most intense part of the storm is the one over centerton fast mover i think you know what's crazy i i really think yeah, let's play this out here I think the strongest part of the storm is actually going to move over that camera that we were just looking at. So we'll keep an eye on that thing. Um, that means it's moving across north of Bentonville. Now, you can see the label Bentonville here. You've got um, that rainbow curve down here at the bottom. So the Bentonville airport's going to be located uh, right over in this area. We should be getting some wind out there at Thaden right now. And then as we move back to the north, now we're looking up North Walton here. So you have the new table restaurant right about here. And then you've got the home office, which is being built more towards the east, right in here. So you're really uh, North Walton heading towards the Bella Vista area. So I'm going to go back to the camera here. Again, just to, just to reassure you guys, if you're just joining, and why is Garrett talking about this stuff? Um, let me go. Let me just show you that just real quick, and, I, and, and for my own sanity, too. Let me make sure there's no rotation on this stuff. Ooh, there's some range folding in there. Um, I don't see anything going on here. This is all anomalous radar garbage. Um, but it doesn't look like there's any rotation. It does look like there's some damaging wind and maybe some hail. Uh, North Bentonville, Hawassi, right on top of you guys in Bella Vista. So we'll go back over here, and then we're going to hit um, play on this thing, see if we can watch this move through. So I'm watching this white area, and again, that camera is right here. So let's look at it. Let's see what's going on here. This is looking to the west, and boy, are we getting a light show out of this. It's tough at night to really see much of anything as far as tornadoes go. That's why it's always so dangerous to storm spot at night because you really can't see anything, um, especially with the terrain, the Ozarks, everything else. It makes it pretty challenging to see what's going on. I don't even think we'll see any hail if it's on here, but um, man, we really get a feel for how much lightning is out there. A lot of times at night, though, with the cameras, one of the things that I like to look at is the... Um, I like to look for blue or purple flashes in the distance because that'll tell us if there's power flashes. And oftentimes that's either wind, tornado, could be lightning hitting it. Um, but things like that really are are good for us to be able to see what's going on down at the surface because you just can't see much at night. Um, the thing is, I don't see any rotation on it right now, though. So we're not worried about that. Um, the hail risk isn't that high. We're not worried about that. The wind risk, yes, we are concerned about the wind risk. I think that wind risk is going to be a, a big deal for us here um, heading into well, about the next 20 minutes, just as fast as this thing is moving. Okay, I'm seeing the most intense storm right now. Let's go back here. I'm seeing it right over that camera. So the camera is right here in the middle, right? And that white area is moving right over it. Let's hit stop here. So if we got off here and we went north, uh, McNelly Road is going to be right up here running out towards the east. And then you go farther to the north and towards downtown Bella Vista. 
in the town, Bella Vista. Yeah. Um, that's moving northeastward. There's Blackjack Corner. There's P Ridge. P Ridge is going to get it. You guys in P Ridge, heads up. Uh, you're really going to get this thing here coming in any second. Um, the intense part of the storm, again, right over I-49 and 71 north-south. Can't really see much lights now, huh? We've got a lot of vivid lightning out there. It's, it's right over this camera is the most intense part of the storm. Um, you can't see anything. That rain is coming down. Man. And the wind speeds are high, too. Um let me look at the wind. Let me go back. Let's go back over to Analyst real quick and see what's going on as far as wind goes here. Lightning is very vivid. Wind speeds on this thing. Let me go up a tilt here, a little higher. Oh, there's one right there over Bentonville. Okay, so this is actually right over the momentary tower here. That little pixel is probably uh, gusting close to 40 or 50 miles an hour near the uh, near the new home office, actually. So this is just to the south of Crystal Bridges, just to the northeast of Thaden Field, and uh, just to the west, northwest of the links in Bentonville. Uh, this is going to be tracking towards um, NWAC. Uh, Woods Creek, Lost Springs, moving west to east. So you got a little bit of a cell here that's going to be a little a little stronger. Matter of fact, I'll turn the radar back on here. You can see some of these stronger cells with some of the neighborhoods where you might live out towards uh, Stonehenge, the Red Barn, heavy showers and storms over them. Uh, Allen Croft, Chapel Hill, all seeing the heavy showers and thunderstorms moving through. On the west, southwest side of Bentonville, moving uh, farther to the south, heavy storms now moving in over Eagle Creek. Rolling Acres, Osage Hills, uh, Cornerstone Ridge, Brighton Heights, uh, Lockmore Club, Summerlin, all getting these showers and storms um, tracking into the area. A little little pop up here. Let's look at this little guy real quick. Ooh, that's interesting. Let me back that up a frame. Oh, this is something to watch right here. Uh, this is a little pocket of rotation northeast of Siloam Springs that has popped up, and it's been there on a couple of scans. So I don't believe it's fake. Let's go back. It's still there. This is going to be something to watch, too, with that line of storms. Uh, looks like we got another one that popped up. Now we got saw under a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. Um, this is northern Sequoia County, southeastern um, Muskogee County. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning on this one. This is moving more towards the east. This is a look at that line. This is the uh, one that, let's see how this played out. Made more of a right turn. Now, right turns aren't that great. You get a right turn like that, sometimes you can get a little spin action going. So this is going to be one that we need to keep an eye on, too, for the next hour. Look how fast this thing moved through, though. It's already over in Gravit and Sulphur Springs. I say it's already over. I know it's still loud, guys, but the worst of the wind is over with. Um, the heaviest part of the thunderstorm here is now moving over uh, Creekstone, Stone Ridge, out there towards the Metfield Complex in Bella Vista, out in the um, golf course on the east northeast side there. Um, this is all coming right into P Ridge. So P Ridge, heavy wind, heavy rain, all tracking in from west to east. Let's see if we can find some other cameras that are out there. And then I'm going to, after I do that, I'll check out some of your comments and see what you've got, um, where you guys live. What do you want to see? What can't, <laughs> like you can answer me. Uh, why don't we look at, um, let's just look at one that we can recognize here so we can see uh, kind of our landmarks. So this is, uh, from Walton Boulevard looking towards, um, Uptown Rogers. You've got Cross Church on the right. On the left side of the screen, you've got Mercy straight ahead. Um, you have Top Golf and everything else. So looking south, we don't see that much, although the headlights from the cars there really show you that we've got a lot of wind that's ongoing there. Uh, back to radar. Look at this again. Boy, that thing is flying. I think it's taking more of a northerly jog here as far as the wind goes. This is the area to watch for wind still. Just west of Pea Ridge, right over Metfield in Bella Vista, uh, north side of Bentonville. Now, we do have some other storms that are out there. We have storms in Salem Springs that have moved in, and it is really coming down. Where it wasn't earlier, it sure is now. Um, Salem Springs, woo, heavy wind and rain. That little pocket of wind I'm watching is out there on the northeast side of town, out there by the airport. So we'll keep an eye on that thing. Still got some time to watch that one that's out there in um, 
in Sequoia County to see how that thing tracks in. Let's see. Mouse didn't like me just then. Hey, but it's better than having a mouse in your desk. You know? Just saying. All right, so let's move south here and yeah, that's that's got some hail, I bet. Bingo. That's just north of Warner. And then we've got this other cell. It's been more broken. Let me zoom all the way out. Let me drum the gas crazy, making me motion sick. Let's see here. So you have this cell in McAllister and Hugo moving north. There's a little you said split. It's that left split. This is so interesting. So what's happening here? Let's see if I can back this up. I'm talking about this guy right here near McAllister. You can see how it broke off from this storm. It was actually part of the same storm down to the south. And what's happening is the upper level winds are actually breaking that tube, that updraft tube. And um, by doing that, it's um, it, it's the storm moves in two different directions. Looks like we got a bad scan there. We'll go to another radar source here and look at this a little easier. And then zoom out. And then let's look at the last seven frames here. Man, that thing is going, huh? Moving very quickly. So when you get these storms that that break in half, um, you get one that shoots off to the north. That's a hailer. And the crazy thing is, if you get one that shoots off that direction, the tornado it would produce would be one that actually spins like a clock. Now most tornadoes are anticyclonic, right? They spin backwards. You can get a psych. Uh, you could get a. Um, those tornadoes are cyclonic. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been up since four. It's it's almost twenty four for me. Yikes. Um, but what'll happen is you can get a tornado that spins the wrong way is essentially what I'm saying, but you also get some very large hail whenever you get a left moving splitting storm. And that's what's happening down there. It's also an indication the upper level winds are really coming in pretty strong. Um, so here we are back at the radar watching the storm here in Benton County. We have heavy storms that are moving through Rogers and Bella Vista stopping the radar here and zooming in on this thing. Here it comes into Blackjack Corner. It's at the worst of it's over in Bella Vista. I know it's still going pretty pretty good. You can still hear it out there, but the worst wind is out. Little Flock, this is coming in now um, right towards Pleasant Hill. Let's see, this is on 94. Little Flock Drive is uh, front and center here. If we zoom in a little bit more here, you can see it around Rolling Meadows. Um, the stronger part of the storm is just north of that. It's closer to Highway 72. Um, out here so you know how 72 when you're off of 49 and you're headed towards p ridge and it kind of goes up and down the hills and it's always backed up in the morning so that's where this is the strongest then when it kind of dumps out into p ridge and it gets out towards it'll do road um that's the leading edge so the strongest part of the storm is generally in that area in p ridge moving towards the east it's essentially coming right up on the high school right now on the northwest side of p ridge Elsewhere, Bentonville, what am I seeing here? Let me zoom on in, see what you guys are looking at. This is Southeast 28th, um, South Walton Boulevard running here. And then that runs over to Southeast Medical Center Parkway in this area here. So you have some showers and storms that are basically right in that area. Let's see here. There's Southeast Walton. Little Flock, where's this? That's still 72. So that's 72 and I'm trying to find some cross streets here. There's River Oaks. So if you're in River Oaks and Highway 72, um, that heavy part of the storm is is basically right over you guys. Let's go back over to uh, Velocity real quick. I'm going to load it on here just to see. And that one get playing. Eh. Highest wind speeds are P Ridge. Yeah. Right over P Ridge. That warning goes for 12, 12 more minutes, it looks like. Yep. Uh, weather service looking for winds at 60 miles an hour on that storm. Let me go back over to analysts to see if we've got an update here. Yep, we do. So let's look at this a little bit closer. You can almost see a little bit of a notch on the back end of that. That's often an indication when you get it bowing out like that, that you have mid-level winds coming and pushing out that's the uh rear inflow jet of some of these little bow segments that's where you're finding the strongest winds right over p ridge coming into garfield garfield gateway you guys are up next on this thing um let me move back down to the south looks like that thing that was out there around solomon springs is not there anymore you can see something coming together here yeah there's still something in there but it's it's behind the front at this point 
Let's see here. Uh-oh. Got a tornado warning. Now, this is going to be for Sequoia County. So, tornado warning now just to the north of Gore. New tornado warning here. This is a looks like a supercell starting to take shape here. That was the cell that was just warned on a second ago, the severe thunderstorm. So let's um let's look at this on velocity. Oh goodness, look at look how fast this thing popped up. You can see it getting organized here. That was um that was 12:15. So this thing in the last 20 minutes has gone from that to that. Um Let's see if this is on the ground. This is north of Paradise Hill. Nope, I don't see any uh, any debris lofted as of right now. If you live in Paradise Hill, you need to move to your tornado safe space. Uh, move away from windows, without mobile homes, um, any place you wouldn't feel secure. That that's going, guys. That's a that's a look how fast it was too, wasn't it? I mean, it was like 20, 20 minutes or less, and all of a sudden you have a you have a tornado warned cell here. Um, again, that's uh, Sequoia County. That's moving more, looks like more northeast to me. Let me look here. Yeah, it's jogging a little more northeast right there. So that's northwest of Vian, west of Greasy, southwest of Ten Killer. Uh, on its current track, though, should it hold together? And I think some of this rain cooled air ahead of it may mess with it a little bit. We'll see. Mess with the environment downstream. But assuming it does hold together, you would expect it to move um, just south of Fayetteville towards Winslow, Prairie Grove, maybe. We'll see, though. There's a break. There's also a couple more cells out here towards Wilberton that need to be watched. There's nothing in the immediate Fort Smith area. There's that left split again. Bet that's got some hail in it. Let's see. Yep. All right, so let's look back at this a little more. We've got two cells to watch. We have the Benton County storm. Um, we also have the one near Salem Springs, and then we have that tornado worn storm that's in Sequoia County, the west northwest part of Sequoia County, tracking towards the northeast. Um, this has come up in intensity here near Salem Springs, and the wind speeds have come up too. That's interesting. Let me back up. Yeah, get a nice little push here. So this is actually going to be running around um, Elm Springs and Tawny Town, just to the west. Um, some heavy winds going to be coming in here, probably about 40, 50 miles an hour. I don't see anything spinning. A couple different scans there. No spinning going on in that area. Um, I'm going to go back over here and see if we can um, let's see here. I'm going to try to pop this one back up for you guys here look at this thing a little look at tooth i'm gonna look at a couple different stuff on this on this um this one matter of fact you know what we should do let's see if we can do this no oh, apparently we can't um so i do that i thought we could take it just isolate the rotation on this thing there we go yeah okay so this is uh this is looking at j only the rotation so where is the rotation right now it looks like it's moving right up over um over 10 killer so um, the dam's right here. If you were going to go fishing, the rotation's moving over 10 killer right now. Let me look and see if this thing's got any. Um, again, that's what it looks like on radar. Got a nice little hook on it. It's a rotation track for the last hour. So this thing's had a little bit of rotation on and off on it. Um, hail size on that one, not much hail at all. This is mostly a spinning system. Move back to the north. We do have some rotation tracks here. You have that one that we were following earlier, a little elongated there east of Pea Ridge. And then you have some from Heifel running down to the south. There may be something here to keep an eye on. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the one we were watching earlier. Um, let's go back over here to the source and uh, look at this guy a little bit more here. And then we'll check back in on that cell. That's back to the southwest. So what I want to do first uh, is, is just let's reset all this because I've been all over the place. I'm going to zoom out a little more. We have a severe thunderstorm warning still in effect for Benton County and northern Washington County. We have a tornado warning in Sequoia County. The whole line is racing east-northeast. We had thought originally hail was going to be the big threat. It's not. It's going to be wind. The hail threat never materialized this evening. Those storms didn't even develop. Um, looking at the storms 
moving through pretty quick. I think it's going to be in and out real fast. It's not going to be something that drags on tonight all night long at all. Um, they're all moving north, northeast, and they should move out of the area fairly quickly. Um, I don't think this is one of those situations where you're going to have storms that are just going all night long. I think it's going to move out fairly quick um, and should move on out of the area. This is the camera shot I was, I was vying for. Let's see here. There you go. So um, that is looking from uh, Bellevue and 49 looking north. Yeah, that's what we're looking on this one. Towards Village in the Creeks. And now we're at Embassy on this one, aren't we? Yeah. Boy, the rain's coming down so heavy. I'm having a hard time even seeing where I am here. And it looks like they did just... Yeah, they did. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning. They're extending that in Benton, Washington County until 1.30 now. Um, so they've actually extended it out. And you can see it here. It, has, it hasn't populated on this image just yet, but it has on the other one. So let's go to this. Oh, it just popped up as soon as I clicked on it. That's how life is, isn't it? Um... Looks like another one populated here in southwest Missouri, too. So this whole line is tracking towards the east. The new warning goes until um, 1.30. The heavy storms are moving through now. I'm looking at this one near Elm Springs and Rogers. Healing Springs, Cave Springs. Let's see. Here's 264, 112. So ASP would be from the west. They'd be right in here. Zoom in a little more. Here's West Monroe. And then you have them on Peyton Street, Owen Street, other side of the street, out towards Florence Avenue, Tuscany. Um, that line of storms is moving into this area. Elm Springs, we're also getting these storms moving in. That's going to be moving right in over uh, here in Crest here in a second. Here's 412 West. You run into it around Robinson and Pedro. It's going to be coming right into Tawny Town, though. So you're going to get punched by this. The let's see velocity on it. Yeah, you got some wind, too. You got a little line of wind with that. Uh, it doesn't look as strong as, as what came through Pea Ridge and Bentonville earlier, but nonetheless, still out there and still moving through pretty quick. Time now is 1242. It's now April 2nd, so we don't have to listen to any more of those annoying April Fool's jokes. Let's see. Fayetteville, there's not much going on. I mean, it's raining. You probably hear thunder. Um, the wind really starts north of you guys. Not by much, though, um, because here's Johnson, and here's the interchange. So just north of that, getting up towards uh, Arvest Ballpark, the new medical complex over there. Uh, Sam's Club would be right here in the middle. You got the way station in this area. Actually, it's in this area. It's right there. It's to the south on 49. And then there's the 612 interchange. I suppose we could look at that 612 interchange camera and see what that thing looks like. That may tell us a story of, of what's going on. Let's see if I can pull that one up for you guys here in just a sec. That'll give us a nice little look at what's happening there. There we go. Not much, huh? Of course, we're looking south, so the storm's basically to our right and behind us. Saw a little bead of rain fly there across the screen. That's less than impressive. Back over to radar here, and uh, let's take a look at reflectivity. So we have these line, these showers and storms that are still moving through here from Bentonville, approaching Lowell and Springdale, as well as Fayetteville. Yeah, we got some wind with this. Right around Cave Springs to Elm Springs to Tawny Town. Some decent wind moving in with that line. The heaviest part of it's about to move. We're still raining heavy in Bentonville. The severe threat's coming down, though, in Bella Vista. It's coming down in Bentonville, too, compared to where it was earlier. Let's see here. I'm going to see. Let's see. It looks like it's really going around Lowell, doesn't it? I wonder if we can pull up one of these lull cameras. How about how about 78 at the Oakwood overpass? Let's see if we can pull that one up here. There we go. So this is looking north. That um 
RDOT cameras there on the right side of the screen. So, so farther to the right, you got the Pleasant Grove exit on the right. You can probably see the little red light in the distance from the, I think that's the Golden Corral. I don't know. Uh, Walmart would be there on the right. Over there, Hanks would be in that area too. Uh, and then straight ahead is where you'd be looking towards Bentonville. But there's not as many lightning strikes. Traffic's moving along. Of course, they're always moving along there. Um, the lightning isn't very very vivid, at least at the moment, looking towards the north. I'm sure it is under some of these stronger cells that are moving in. But this is from the Oakwood Overpass in Lowell, looking towards the west and towards the northwest. Back over to um, the radar. Let's look at this a little bit more. Zoom on out here. We're going to check in on this little um, spinning storm, too, that was out there over 10 killer here in just a second. See the low? This is the problem, child. When you get a low here, it's stirring up all kinds of problems ahead of it. You get what's called vorticity advection in advance of it. So that's what we're dealing with. So um, we've got these lines, these storms moving through. Let's stop the radar. I'm going to start querying some of these areas. Let's go ahead and zoom in towards Little Flock and Rogers first. Let's go to downtown Rogers. Here's Oak Street. Here's Poplar. Walnut. Here's North 2nd. Locust and Prairie Creek Drive. So the storms are about to move into this area. Right now, they're heaviest. Uh, they appear to be heaviest here closer to Cave Springs and Lowell. Here's Garrett Road. Here's Shores. Here's Mount Hebron. Park would be farther north right here. This is the new park. Here's Wallace. So the um, the memorial, the cemetery is going to be right here. Here's Pleasant Grove Road. So you've got the church here on the corner. And if we move back down to the south, you can see these storms. Um, here's Bellevue. We just saw that a second ago on the Bellevue overpass camera. Maybe we'll pull that one back up here in just a moment and look at that again. And then you've got Pleasant Grove that's just to the north. So heavy showers and storms coming into that area. That's going to keep on keeping on, I think, here for about another 15 minutes or so. Don't think we got a whole lot of hail with this. And I'm not seeing a lot. So the wind really starts farther south around Elm Springs. Not so much in this immediate area. I wonder what it looks like out there over Bellevue right now. There we go. So those flashing lights on the right are Top Golf. And uh, straight ahead are Hunt Towers. I think you got a little light in the middle there. That's Chewy's. Heavy wind and rain. I'm, looking, I'm trying to look at the trees. I can see them moving a little bit. I don't see as much lightning, though. Of course, the instability wasn't super high today. The tornado threat didn't look overly high. Um, I'm looking at this a little bit more here. I just got a new scan in on this one. Go back to it. I'll show you guys. This scan. See the purples in here? Play this again. So this one's intensifying. Here's 264. Here's Shook, Crestwood, Hills Lane, uh, Parkside Circle. This is the Brentwood subdivision. And then going down Monroe. Matter of fact, I'll go over to Analyst here in a second. I can show you guys some of the subdivisions that are being affected by this. Here's Cross Creek. Right in the middle, here's Garrett Road, not named after me. Here's Pleasant Grove here in Bellevue running to the north. So you got Target right up here on the north part of the screen. Northwest Arkansas Mall is right here. And that intense storm moving over, let's see here, where are we at? West Drive, uh, Canopy Meadows, South Bellevue. The uh, Baptist Church is right here. So it's basically coming right over Bellevue towards the Baptist Church. Coming down Pleasant Grove. Very heavy wind and rain with this. And, uh, boy, those pixels are really bright, aren't they? It's an intense storm. It's coming right down 264. It's probably the best way to put it. Heavy wind, heavy rain with this. Occasional lightning. At the moment, we don't have any rotation on this storm. We may get some winds gusting to about 50 or 60 or so. Um, I haven't seen much in the way of wind damage reports just yet, so that's a good thing. That's a that's a pro for us. Back over to analyst real quick, 
and let's just get it this. Here we go. Here's some of our subdivisions. So this is just moved over Otter Creek and Allen's Mill. It's uh, moving towards Bellevue, Lexington, uh, over Silo Falls. There's the ASP headquarters, Weatherton, uh, Lakewood, and Frost Creek right over us now. Ridgewood and Brentwood, starting to see the tail end of it. Here's the Creeks RV Park, still getting it. Same with Beau Chalet. Uh, here's X and A. So it just moved over X and A. We probably could uh, pull up the uh, wind speeds there and get a feel for how strong those winds were as they move through. But uh, yeah, some very heavy wind and rain with this line of storms making its way in. Looking for intensity. So I'm right now I'm just looking to see where the purple colors are starting to ramp up, where it could be getting stronger. And that's where I'm seeing it is essentially right here over Cave Springs and Southwest Rogers. Bent Tree. Here's Rogers High School. You guys are going to get hit by this stuff. Madison. Um, the Greens. Williamsburg Place. Ridgecrest Meadows. Coming right up over Uptown. I can hear it out the window. Walmart Amp. Uh, Promenade. Mercy. Hunt Towers. Uh, Village on the Creeks. Pinnacle Country Club, Liberty Bell, Shadow Valley. Just moved over, you guys. The worst of it, anyway. Scissor Tail, Aurora, Summerlin, just past the Benton County Fairgrounds, and Stone Creek and North Fork. So some heavy wind and rain with that moving through west to east, um, essentially over the southwest side of Rogers and East Cave Springs. It's a live look at it here. This is looking from Bellevue towards Uptown. So we're basically looking right at this thing. Um, car's not moving real fast on the interstate anymore, huh? It's kind of putting along. Let's go to this one. There we go. Go back to this radar source here for a moment. I'm going to zoom out and play. I'm also curious to see what's going on. I thought about pulling up the Monroe camera here on 264. That's a good one. Look at this. Can't see anything. Super heavy rainfall. Some lightning. A few cars here and there. That heavy cell has now tracked northeast over Cave Springs and Rogers. It's now on the opposite side of the interstate. It's coming down Price Lane. And uh, here's Dixieland. Let's stop it here. So now we're over there by the uh, Rogers Police Department is where this is. Here's Ulrich, uh, East Oak Street, coming up towards downtown Rogers now, and eventually out towards uh, Montanay here shortly. Cross Hollow. Heavy, heavy rainfall. Occasional lightning. A little bit of hail, but not a lot of hail. Thank goodness. I'm going to head back over to the rotation tracker real quick. Just let's check in on that storm that was out there. Um, I got a little bit going on there too. So a lot of times these algorithms that that look at the rotation in the storm, what a lot of times what they'll do too is they'll um, they'll they'll get tripped on leading edge squall lines. It's very common. You get a little bit of roll clouds on there or something like that. Anyway, it's not it's not true rotation. The true rotation is this guy here. This is what I wanted to look at. So that's uh, near Bunch and Dry Creek. That was that supercell storm. Looks like it moved more to the e north. That's good. A north moving storm is better than an east one uh, tonight. An east moving storm would sweep out all that holicity and really cause some problems for us. We are getting soaked, though, in Benton County. Good grief. Heavy, heavy rainfall. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more now for you guys and put this all into motion. A big picture view. Let's see. I'm going to try to see what this looks like from Walton looking south. I wonder if we had a power outage or if it's just that, that dark. Let's see. I don't know. It, it's, either, it's either coming down that hard or we had a couple power outages. We'll see. Some heavy wind and rain for sure. All right, so we're back over on this one here. 
can see these storms moving in. There's the little kidney bean shaped tornado warning here south of Stillwell. Weather Service went ahead and extended the watch, severe thunderstorm watch, for 3 a.m. for parts of the River Valley. Take you over to velocity. Nah, this thing's lost it. See the bright green colors? It just fell apart. Not that impressive anymore. Still under a tornado warning, though. Still has an impressive radar presentation. If we move back down to the south, McAllister, Stigler, Wilburton. I suspect that's why they're doing that. I can hear the kids yelling. I probably should go check on them, but they'll come in here if they want. The door's unlocked. Y'all be ready. Elm Springs, some heavy storms here. Look at that a little more. I'm going to mess it up. Fabentini. Here's Harbor. That makes sense. It's over by Harbor High School. That's where this heavy storm is. This one's It's funny how these are coming right down the main roads, right? So the other one came down 264. This one's rolling down 412. Looking to the north here, you've got it over J.B. Hunt. Starting to simmer down in Cape Springs. Not quite as intense as it was earlier. I really think the rain is just that heavy that you can't even see hardly anything. Looking out towards the south. All right, so we're watching the showers and storms that are moving through. Right now, we don't have any tornado threats. Um, well, we have a tornado warning. I shouldn't say that. Um, I think that tornado threat is gone in Sequoia County. We still have the warning, but the risk looks to be a lot lower simply due to the fact that um, the rotation has fallen off. The watch got extended until 3 a.m., and we're still following these storms across Benton County. Um, this is Analyst again. It's showing us our neighborhoods. Look here west of Johnson. Here's um, Blessings, Johnson Mill, El Clara Estates. Lynx Fayetteville looks like the heaviest goes just to the north of Razorback Stadium and northwest of Wilson Park, northwest of the Fayetteville Square. Still going to get a lot of lightning, thunder, the rainfall, but the worst should go just to the west northwest. It looks like heavier storms still coming down though, uh, north and North of uh, Pawnee Town, again, right over Elm Springs. This is out towards Camelot. There's here in Crest. And there's Harbor High. Hey, I, Mama Z's. Just north of there. Oak Grove. Um, looks like it's going to be moving over Spring Hill, coming right into Bethel Heights, just to the north of Northwest Medical, uh, coming in towards the Jones Center. Um, Van Zandt Fruit Farm. It's out there east of Bethel Heights. Pumpkin out there a couple years ago. Uh, Cambridge Place. This is going to continue. Let's see. They've got this warning going. Um, you know, man, the Weather Service put this moving east at 70. I mean, think about that. Just the storm itself moving east at 70 is super duper fast. That's flying. They got hazards, wind gusts to 60. Kinda. But I mean, you also have forward motion of the storm at 70. It's pretty good. It's pretty heavy, heavy duty storm. Still have this warning here uh, that's in effect. Let me calibrate the radar on this guy, and let's look at this. Still have some spinning going on here, but not anything like earlier. Let me zoom out. See the rotation just fade? Watch it. Right there. Gone. The deep rotation. The reds and the greens here still indicate some spinning in the atmosphere. I think when it was moving more east, though, it really had that potential to really tornado. More north, not so much. Um, I think there's some hail on this thing, though. Yeah, there's some hail on this. You're probably going to have at least quarter size, maybe larger hail on that storm. The rotation is just not as tight as it was earlier. Uh, back to the south, we got a couple of storms popping up. These new storms here, let's see. You know, it's funny. I think that left split, if you guys have been watching this for a while, and it's almost one in the morning, so um, maybe you haven't. But if you are, 
Um, that left split is the one that's might get into Fort Smith. We'll see. We'll see how that thing plays out, huh? Um, the boundary is interesting too. So that that super super south storm to the north here is laying down a little bit of a weak boundary here. Sometimes these storms can intercept those boundaries, and when that happens, oftentimes you can get a little bit of an uptick. So that's something we could see. Take you back to the north here. Bentonville, Lowell, Springdale, boy, still coming down. Starting to get, well, east of Bentonville. I think it's getting a lot quieter on the west side of Bentonville, out towards Centerton, Hawassi, Highville, Gentry, Decatur. Looking a lot better now, huh? And uh, Fayetteville. There's some heavy showers and storms over Fayetteville, Johnson, Bethel Heights, and Springdale, as well as Lowell. Uh, I'm going to zoom out of this. Actually, let's go back over to the other source here and then zoom out and loop this. I'm going to read some of your comments on the Facebook, friendly Facebook. Will this loop? There we go. All right, so this is where we are. Here's where we are with the showers and storms. We don't have anything immediately affecting us, uh, Fort Smith or Van Buren. Let's see, back over on... To Facebook. Everybody, we all want to go to sleep. Paige, yes, I want to go to sleep. I might just stay up three more hours and call it a 24 hour day. I don't know. I, I hit a wall around nine and then I got second wind. So is it supposed to rain and grab it for a while? It's probably going to rain for about another hour or so, I think. Uh, lots of rain and thunder and lull, says Sue. Yeah, man, it's coming down. It really moved through a second ago, though, didn't it? Is Centerton good? Can I go to bed? Yes, go to bed, Kayla. You're good. Um, Fort Smith, I'd keep an eye on it. Um, out of Westville, uh, Centerton, yeah, looking good. Might check out Darby. I don't have a TV in here. I'm friends with Dan, though. I can call Dan. You think he would answer if I called Scoff? I don't think he would. See, when you're in TV, you can't say stuff like that. But when you have your own internet channel, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Bet he wouldn't answer. We should do it sometime. All right, what about Rogers? Rogers, you're still going to get that heavy wind and rain. I've got some. I'm still showing it right over you guys. Um, it's really over 612 right now, moving to the northeast. Micah going to school for meteorology. That's cool. Holy cow. P came, uh, P, a tree came through your house in P Ridge. That is not good. Oh, my goodness. If you get a chance uh, later on tomorrow or later tonight, uh, snap a pic. I'll put that up on the on the website. Had some small hail in Holiday, Holiday Island, said Sue. Thanks, Megan. Um Dorinda says Charleston hasn't had anything. He hadn't had much of anything, really, in the River Valley so far. Um, we've had those cells to the west. Um, Mickey wants to know, in all caps, is Waldron going to get anything? Um, I don't know. There's not much out there right now. And I really thought farther to the south it was going to fade. Um, and it has. I don't know. There's still some stuff out there. It's just not severe. I think you really got to watch this stuff. There's not much moving towards Waldron. I think it'll be more scattered. It's more conglomerate and, and put together right now. Um, Really think the only folks who are who are going to be out of the woods of this thing are probably Fayetteville North, anywhere south of Fayetteville, not so much. Um, Springdale, Bethel Heights. Kendra was asking, um, still dealing with it in Springdale. I think it's moving out though. It's going to be moving out of the area. Um, not sure about the timing in Alma though. It really depends on what we've got coming into the West. Same with Van Buren. It's going to really depend on what this stuff does out West. Um, it's more scattered, so. It's not a sure thing we're even going to get it, but it's come way down here in Benton County, which is good. So you guys that are watching us and uh, watching in Rogers, um, the warning goes for another 27 minutes or so, but the heaviest storm has started, it's east of 49. So if you're west of 49, you're actually in the clear for, excuse me, clear for the night. Crystal saying still got loud thunder in West Bentonville. I believe it. Heavy storms are out, but that thunder and uh, lightning is going to continue here until you get the back edge of that blue moving through. But seeing how they're moving so fast, I think you're going to get it really, really quick. So it's not going to be uh, – it shouldn't last very long with this stuff. Appreciate all the stars you guys are sending. Uh, what about Avoca and Garfield? Let's see. Yeah, Garfield's got a nice little storm over y'all, huh? It's actually uh, running from about Garfield out towards Vista Shores and Lost Bridge Village. Um, the heaviest there is out around Garfield Mountain, Gentry Mountain, Marshall Street. Um, let's see here. It's 127 Hughes Road, that area, I think. 
Let me zoom back out here. Mike is saying they canceled the tornado warning. It hasn't populated on here, but I believe it. It doesn't look like it's really spinning that much. Let's see. Southwest Missouri. Well, McDonald County, I think, is fine. Um, generally, I, can't, I don't know if I can name all the towns, y'all. There's a lot of towns and question marks that are on here. Here's the thing. South of Fayetteville, heads up. North of Fayetteville, go to sleep. I mean, that's it's that simple. Um, you're going to get some... Um, I mean, you've been waiting for my kids to come flying in. Norma, I've been waiting for my kids to come flying in. Or the dogs. I'm really kind of surprised they haven't yet. Um, Juliana is on point. Fort Smith's fine now. Might get storms later in the night. That's definitely true. I think it's going to be this stuff if we get anything at all. Now, I will tell you, that even though the models were complete liars today, the only the April Fool's joke was on all the meteorologists. Um, but the models did show it tapering off to the south. So the strongest was going to be farther to the north, it looked like generally I-40 north, so I don't know that the dy dynamics are really as good farther south. Um, that said, y'all saw that storm around McAllister earlier. It was really going. So, I mean, it's still possible. I just don't think the risk is as high. I think this thing is a problem, though. It looks like we just got a, yeah, just a new one. Uh, new severe thunderstorm warning now. This one is for Washington County and northern Crawford County. This is based on that storm that's near Stillwell. This was that tornadic storm. So general thought here is that this thing's going to hold together as far as the cell goes. Let's see. Like I said, I didn't put it together. It was April Fool's. It really wasn't April Fool's joke today about the storms. We really thought it was going to storm. Like we thought storms were going to be there around 9 or 10, and they just didn't happen. That's why I'm calling it the friendly Facebook. Some of y'all were mean. Let's see. Um... Let's see. I'm going to go to Hale on this. I wonder if we can... I wonder what would be best to look at Hale. I know. Let's look at this one. We can look at the rotation of this, which actually looks like it's back up. But that's not good. Um, it's on rotation tracker anyway. Now, the Hale doesn't look that impressive. It's about half inch right now. Over the last hour, nah, rotation tracks. It's had rotation on it since back around Gore. Of course, we knew that if you've been watching it. So it's had the rotation on it. Again, this is all garbage. This is that line that moved through. The radar thinks it's rotation, but it's not. Storm Prediction Center still has us in that, that area. Well, actually, they shifted the whole area east. Ooh, they've got another moderate out for tomorrow. I guess it is tomorrow. It's one in the morning. So that's why. Back over to radar here. Excellent. Do you want to look at this one? Let's look at this one. Let's look at the other one next. Let's see. One inch at your home station. Bentonville exit 87. Uh, Kate, good grief. That's a lot of rain, huh? Small hail at UARC right now. Anything coming through Greenwood? No, there's nothing. There's nothing in the River Valley. Um, just this is a new little bloop. Let's see what that's showing. Oh, that's not good, guys. We get another tornado warning out of this thing. See how it went to nothing? And now it's something. That's why the rotation tracker on there. I'll go back to that. That's why it picked up on that. Let's go to right now. Let me turn on hill icons too. This is spinning around Bell. It's got about uh, 0.6 hail. That's less than quarter size. It's not that big. This is spinning. It's coming towards Crawford County and Southern Washington County. Back over to this. Here we are. For the most part, it looks like it looks like Benton County is going to be simmering down. We're still getting it in Carroll County, northern Madison, not as bad. East Springdale, still getting it. Looks like they're going to go ahead and uh, yep. new severe thunderstorm warning just issued. That's going to be for northern northern Madison County, Carroll County includes Eureka Springs. Benton County is not under a warning. Northern Washington County is not under a warning. I think if you live from probably Fayetteville North, probably in good shape. Fayetteville's yeah, should, this this cell should go south of Fayetteville. So Fayetteville North, I think it's going to be fine. I didn't get a big enough cup of coffee oh, of water. I need a cup of coffee. That was what you call a Freudian slip. All right, so here's this thing. But I'm curious about this, since it's all by itself and it's to the south. 
and the atmosphere hasn't been worked over, is it going to intensify even more? It might. We didn't get that earlier round of storms. This was supposed to be the ho-hum round, but that earlier round never even happened, and so this is the big round. I think the atmosphere was too capped earlier. Cap is a warm layer aloft, and when the updraft hits the warm layer, it just falls apart. Um, the instability wasn't great. I'll give you an idea, like, we look at it in joules per kilogram, and and you go from, like, let's say we go from 0 to 4,000, right? Uh, you can go higher than that, but let's just use 0 to 4,000. And you get three or 4,000 cape, and you get these explosive storms. You get, it looks like a bomb went off in the summertime, right? So our cape today was about 1,700. 1,700, it wasn't much. It wasn't a whole lot of instability. That's why I really wasn't super duper concerned about a widespread tornado threat. If it got in the right environment, like this one's doing right now, sure, it can tornado. Um, but the hail threat looked a lot a lot more a lot more significant just because the temperatures above that warm layer were really cold. And the thought was if the storms pop, they're going to accelerate really fast through that, warm, that cold air and um, really cause some problems. All right, so that's where we are in northwest Arkansas. We still have the showers and storms going, but it's starting to end. Um, we're still watching this storm that I think is probably going to get a, let's see. Well, it's not It's not wrapped up. Let's see. You need to see the green and the red, like, split, like real tight on each other. And that's just not happening, um, which is fine. I mean, it'd be great. We don't want a tornado. Um but I think that the radar presentation of this thing is really impressive, though. See how it's got that classic kidney bean shape to it? So it's north, the heaviest, of, the hill would be falling northeast of Honey Hill. And then the tornado would be along 59. There's not one, but should there be one, that's where it's going to be. Let me see how fast this is moving. Let me do this on the fly, guys. Sorry. Uh, I'm moving east at 50. So this one's going too. This is a fast one. So let's just play some fun here and let's move this over here and let's just do a little storm track on this and see if I can break the radar. Apparently I can. So we'll start right around here and we'll move this direction. It's about, let's see here. Did I mess that up? Ah, I'm sorry, y'all. It's late. I'm tired. Let me try this again. I'm trying to see where this is going. There we go. So I'm going to put this right in the center of the polygon. So this would be the eventual track of this uh, tornado. If it's moving east at 50, which is really fast, puts it here. So Blackburn, about 20 minutes. Winslow, in about 25 minutes. Um, Brentwood, about 28 minutes. Uh, Bidville, 35. Holmes in about 45, St. Paul in about an hour, Jafton, same thing, about an hour. It's, it's a fast-moving storm, moving that quick. Uh, just a quick storm track on that to give you guys an idea of when this could move through. Uh, Strickler would be about 14 minutes, about 15 minutes or so. Same with Schleyberg. So great cabins up there. Let's see, there we go. So that's going to be moving to the north and northeast. Let's see. Will it miss natural dam? Good question. Let's go north. I think so. I think it's yeah. It's pretty close. It's gonna go just north of you. Go back over to the other radar. I think it does a better job of looking at this. Let's see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the big presentation first, so everybody can see where their town is. That's another thing you have to know where you live. So just watch this for a second or two. So the storms to the south have not been intensifying. It looks like. These are weakening. The ones that just moved through Benton County as they moved to Branson. That's that rotating storm though doesn't look like it's weakening. Is it moving more to the right? Hope not. Let's look. Yeah, it might be. Right moving storms are not good. 
Yeah, because the hail came up too. We're up to to two inch hail. So we got some big hail coming out of this stuff. Oh, you were asking about natural dam. Yeah. So here's natural dam, and then there's the storm. So it's gonna move just to your north. <laughs> it's close though. Um, if we put a marker on natural dam and look at where the rotation is, the rotation is about six miles north of natural dam. Let's see the rotation on this again. It's just not wrapped up. That's the thing. That's why there's no warning on this. Um, no tornado warning anyway. Hail's there though, for sure, right? So we're down to what three warnings? We've got one in Missouri. We've got one over just East Eureka Springs, Carroll County, Northern Madison County. Um, Huntsville's in the warning, but there's not a whole lot going on in Huntsville. I think the storm right now to watch is. Play this out again. Oh, it got a little stretch, didn't it? Let's see. That might be a good thing. If we can stretch it out and elongate it, I don't know that the tornado threat's going to stay there. Let's see. Boy, the wind risk is there, though. I mean, these are some damaging winds. This is east of Evansville. 40, 50 miles an hour. Easily, maybe? Let's see. I'm trying to get a feel for some of the uh, observations here to get an idea of what the wind did. Ooh, doggy. Okay, so X and A gusted to 48 miles an hour at 1222 and 1229. So, yeah, we had some, we had some nasty wind come, come through. Let's see. Bentonville, what did we gust to? We're doing that. I'm going to loop this so you guys can see the whole area here. Some storms are coming to Salisaw. They're not severe. Um, Bentonville, we gusted to 35. Wasn't quite as impressive here. And then let's check Rogers. Now, remember the Rogers Airport's over there on the northeast side of town. Um, gusted to 35. So it looks like the strongest winds. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Here's Rogers. It took a second. Gusted 36 miles an hour. I'm going to check Fayetteville, too. I don't think we had as gusty winds in Fayetteville see here ah, just to 32 i mean it's on it's on par with some of the other ones so yeah some gusty winds that moved on through huh let's watch this cell a little bit more here it's trying to get going let's look upstairs so we're we're down at the the, the lowest tilt now here's a higher tilt here's another tilt Here's another tilt. So you got you have the rotation up there about six thousand feet. You don't have any rotation at two thousand feet. So you got a little bit of mid-level rotation that's still going on. Down at the surface, though, these little pixels here, that guy, let's see. Well, there's not much out there. But if you live out there, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go back over to this source here. And zoom out. Storms really aren't doing all that much at the moment, west southwest of Fort Smith. So let's stop this and let me look at this one. So it's near Skylight, Skylight Mountain. And that's tracking east towards West Fork and towards Winslow, it looks like. So that's the main cell that's out there now. That one's mostly going to be tracking across parts of, um, looks like it comes right over that tunnel or so, so to speak. All right, so let's just reset this whole thing, and I'm going to get some more water, and I'll keep an eye on this radar and see if anything else pops up for y'all. I'm going to zoom out even more here just to, just to get a big picture view of what's going on. So here we are, and here's play. So what's happening now is this line of storms is moving east. There's a watch out till three in the morning for parts of the river Valley. It's possible. We could get a few more storms uh, around Fort Smith and South in Northwest Arkansas. I think it's all done from Fayetteville North. So Fayetteville, Bentonville, Rogers, Centerton, Springdale, Gravit, Decatur, um, 
if you live in North Washington or Benton County, I think you're good. Now, the exception to that is going to be the east side of Washington County, just because of the cell that's out there around. Um, uh, where where are we? Skylight, I guess. South of West Fork, west of Winslow. This stuff could get into Elkins. It may get into Huntsville. Um, so that's it, it's not like Northwest Arkansas is in the clear because I mean, really, if you zoom out, this whole area is Northwest Arkansas. So we're talking about really north northeastern Washington County and northern Madison County would still need to keep an eye on this thing. And you saw how fast this thing spun up earlier. So it's going to be one of those things you got to keep a close eye on. There's still some rotation there. It's just not as strong as it was earlier. Right there is where it is. Um, and in the Fort Smith area, we haven't had much of anything yet. And we do have some stragglers here. This atmosphere, I think, is a little worked over. Remember, we had that storm that moved through and faded west of Fort Smith. And then this stuff down to the south will trek to the east, to the northeast. So that's what it looks like, at least, um, at least right now. So these showers and storms are moving on through. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more water and check on the kids and the dogs because I'm sure they're pleasant. Actually, hopefully they're asleep by now, right? Um, but I'll keep an eye on these showers and storms as they move through. We only have that one warning right now. That's the one in Washington County, and it has some hail in it. That's moving towards the east um, to get into the Elkins area, maybe Huntsville with time. The cold front moves in behind it. Temperatures fall. We're going to be back down into the 50s before you know it. So I'll watch these storms for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching this evening. Um, boy, rough and tumble night, huh? Uh, tomorrow, get ready to dress a lot colder, dress for colder weather. It's going to be chilly. Maybe only 50s, low 60s, breezy north winds. It's going to be a raw day, but it'll be sunny the rest of the week. Next rain chance after this is going to come up on Sunday into Monday of next week, which eh, might not bode that well for the eclipse, but we'll see. All right, I'll keep an eye on it, guys. Stay safe this evening.